Yes, Ole, you have tried out this beautiful ski from Fisher called Ranger 102 FR. Is that right. correct? Yeah? That's correct. That's correct. How was it? Very good. Super good today. Yes, I'm really happy with this ski. Uh, they have done some slightly changes uh, from uh, till next year. And uh, last year when we tried the T TI, the, the little bit harder ski, I liked it, but not not as much as I like this one because it's like soft in the tails uh, and uh, still pretty chargy, so you can go fast. And today, when it's a little bit softer, it was also very playful. So, yeah, I really liked. It was, it's a good all-round ski, and it feels a bit lighter as well. So, I think it also can be good for touring if you like put on a, a touring binding. I feel the smell of a five here. Is, uh, <laughs> What's your rating? It's a clear five for me today. Yeah. High five on that one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Fredrik, Fisher Reindeer 102 FR. How was this ski to ski on today? I, I really like this one. This is one of my favorites that I've tried during uh, this uh, ski test because uh, it, it feels stable uh, even when you push, uh, push it a little bit and it's still a little bit lighter uh, as Ole mentioned before. Uh, so it feels like it can work really good in all, all type of terrain. Uh, so a real good ski if you just want to buy one type of ski uh, and in that it becomes a little bit like playful and you feel that you can actually do more things than just go up and down the hill with it. And Would you say it's more uh, on piste or off piste or is it 50-50? Uh, what, what would you say about that? No, but I think they have tried to make it like uh, not a total off piste ski and not a total in piste ski, but uh, somewhere in between. And I think that they managed to do quite a good all mountain ski as well because it's quite, uh, it's not too like hard, but even in the turn it feels pretty solid. So it becomes like a little bit playful that you can play around with it in the snow, but also perhaps if you're into, I'm pretty bad at doing tricks and stuff like that, but that you can actually challenge yourself a little bit. Okay, so rating for this ski? Uh, I would also say, uh, well, I'm going to say 4.5. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit more... Uh, why, why not the 5? I'm, I'm, I'm still looking for that 5. I think that the 5 should be really, it should be really selective. Because like a 5 is something you aim towards and that's like the perfect ski. So that's why... It's hard. It should be hard to get a fire. Like really, really hard. Okay, Yuan, what do you think of the Fisher Ranger? I for sure liked it. Uh, I know it has uh, has the other ones. I give it quite quite good scores. And I'm also with them. And first of all, I like to say that the profile and the looks of the ski, uh, whatever you think about the pink, there's a blue one as well. Uh, but I think it looks really good, the shape of it and the profile. I think it looks neat uh, on, on the slopes. So, so that I would like to add on. But despite that, it was a fun ski to ride. Uh, it felt stable, uh, stable for me, but stable enough for me in, in the slopes. However, I had a hard time uh, to, 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 get, to get into the turn. So when entering the turn, I had a hard time getting into the edge. I feel like things are happening. So I felt, for me, it felt a bit slow moving. Uh, I'm not sure if that could, might be due to my how I ski or what it is, but uh, that's just a personal feeling I got when, when, I, when I tried it. But despite that, I found like playful, it's trustworthy and uh, a fun ski to, uh, to have on the mountain. So this would for sure be an option for me when, when looking into new skis. Uh, you have also made a pretty heavy crash yesterday. Maybe that's why I have to hard to uh, get into the turns today. Yeah, for sure. I, th I have a quite stiff back, so <laughs> that might be a reason. <laughs> okay, so rating for this ski. Uh, I would give it a 4.5. Uh, it's a really good ski, but due to uh, the, my feeling that I don't really can get into the turn as easy as I want to, uh, I, I'm not giving it a 5. Okay. Thank you, Juan. And don't forget to subscribe here and more videos from Freeride there. Yes, Moa, you have also tried the Fisher Ranger 102 and 184 centimeters long. What do you think of this ski? Actually, I tried the 177, uh, but this is the 180, yeah, the taller one. Uh, actually, it's a favorite. So far, I like it a lot. It's uh, in these conditions, 
uh, it's like it's a bit hard beneath, but then it's like a soft top layer. Uh, these perform really well in the pist. You have this smooth feeling. Uh, you get a nice uh, response when uh, uh, when getting out of the turn, and I think they feel very stable, even though they are pretty light. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. So it's a fa favorite so far? It is, it is. So uh, how would you rate it? I'll rate it a five. Oh yes! It's my first. High five! <laughs> Thank you! We're here with Sverre Lillekvist, legendary skier with the Fisher Ranger 102. Tell me about this ski, Sverre. Oh, this uh, has become a favorite ski of a lot of riders. And the cool thing is that it fits everyone from um, like almost beginner to a pro so that's why we put a little bit extra effort into the 102 now so what type of ski is it is it more on piste or off piste all mountain what would you say nah, i would say all mountain off piste but if you go down in the length a little bit it works really nice in the, in the, in the park as well some of the team athletes they use it more or less everywhere even in the park but uh, yeah the good thing for me is that it comes in 191 as well, so you can go up a little bit in the length and then you have a more stable, like big mountain ski in, in the same ski, more or less. So. And what is the shortest ski, you know? I'm not really sure how, the, how far it goes down, but 174 and maybe one shorter. No, but I really enjoy this ski and it's cool that it comes also in two colors now. So it's no different in between the, the pink and the blue one. It's just whatever you like. So you can always uh, buy two pairs and mix it up and have one of each. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a team uh, favorite of, of, uh, of the athletes in the team. So we will put even more energy into this in the future. Okay, thank you, Svera. There's one more, one more thing to say. Yeah, I have to tell everyone to join in for the Freera YouTube channel. That's where it happens, right? Thank you. <laughs>